Okay, so let us move to the next. Okay, this is the speaker two now. Okay, so here. Okay, look at the photo. Two photos again. Compare and contrast the photo. What can you say in each of the living room? Okay, and please tell or write in the chat box what living room you would like and why okay is it living room one or living room two okay go yan Nguyen, please tell me why you choose number one, okay? Please tell me, you write here the reasons why you choose number one. Because I think picture one is uh, quiet and... You like the living room one because it is? Why Nguyen? Quiet and warm. It is quiet. Okay. So here, look at the other photo here. Okay, please 
pick one that you like most. You describe, Mo Yan, and pick one you like most. Okay, go. Line number two, three, because Mm. Okay, wait, which like, picture you pick? Three or four? Three. Three. Oh, why you pick three? Because I like popcorn and I think they are playing computer. Game. Yeah, you're playing computer and they're eating pop popcorn. Oh, you like popcorn? Oh, okay, so here. Yeah. Now, Nguyen, let's move to the next. Okay. Let's make this as one hour. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. It is, we are finished with 9E, very fast, Nguyen. Okay, let us move to. Hi, Lord. Okay. Okay, let us have here the 9F. This is the last activity for the elementary solution. Oh, I will share it to you now. So this one, okay, so I am here in 9F. Okay, so writing a description about your home, okay? So you read the text and the model text, which text matches the photo? How do you know? Okay, please. You read the task and the model text. Which text matches the photo? And how do you know? Okay. So which do you think matches the photo text A or text B? Okay, please write the text and tell me why. You explain why.
uh, text a teacher. It is text A. I live in fairly modern apartment on the fifth floor. It's great location because it's right in the middle of the city. You can easily find a cafe nearby or get the bus to another part of the city. Okay. The, uh, there are three bedrooms. Your bedrooms will be the one front of the apartment. This one. This is the one described. It's small. Although it's very light, there is, okay, there is a bed, a desk, and a chair in the room. The apartment also also has two bathrooms, a living room oh, and a kitchen. So in the living room, we have big 3D TV, so we open light on the sofas and watch films in the evening. It really uh, is uh, relaxing. We also have games, console for playing video games. Okay, so next one. Okay. Okay, you imagine, Nguyen, you are choosing which place to stay for three months. Okay, three months, Nguyen. Will you, which room will you choose? One or two? Okay, your answer, please write in the chat box. Chat box, Nguyen, which room we will choose? Room A or room B? Okay. So you imagine you want to stay for three months. Which room do you want to choose? A or B? Okay, please. In the chat box, you tell me why. Okay? okay. Example, you will say, I choose letter A. Or I choose because it's in the city. Or I choose letter B because it's in the countryside. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, what is your answer? I choose letter B because it is in the village. Okay, why do you like to stay in the village comparing if you stay in the city? Why you like to stay in the village comparing if you stay in the city? Why? Because I think in the village, it will be very quiet. Very quiet. What else, Nguyen? In the city, it is noisy. Very good. In the village, it's very quiet. Okay, why do you want that? Because? Why? I can break a book. You can break a? What? <laughs> what? Book. What is book? Uh, I can read book. What do you mean? What do you mean with that? Mm. Okay, you're right. You're right. Teacher did not understand. You're right, Nguyen. Okay. Okay. 
I can read a book in the countryside. Wow, that's good to hear because in the countryside, Nuyan, you know that it's very quiet. Okay, when you say there, there is no, okay, no traffic, only few cars moving in the countryside. And there are no lot of factories. So you can concentrate. You can read books. You can sleep early. So you want to stay there. And living in the city. Okay. But sometimes you live in the city. So if you want to choose to have vacation for three months, you will gonna have it in the countryside. Okay. <laughs> So we have here Ngo Yan, teacher will illustrate the three, although when you use although to introduce fact that contrast. Example, although our flat is small, the kitchen is very large. Okay, that's all it's contrast. We live near the sea, although we never go swimming. That's contrast. We live in the city, although we don't like it. That's contrast. Because what do you mean by the word because? We use because to introduce a reason and so introduce a result. Like when I say Nguyen, the flat is on the top floor, so it is very quiet. So what is the result? That the flat is on the top floor. It is very quiet. That's the result. Okay? The flat is on the top floor, so it is very quiet. The result. The flat is very quiet. What's the reason? Because it's on the top floor. Okay, what's the reason? The flat is very quiet because it is on the top floor. That's the reason. Okay, you understand, Nguyen? You understand? Okay. Yeah. Nguyen, you understand? Yeah. Okay, very good. So, Nguyen, we don't have enough time. It's already 11 to, okay? It's 10.02 in the Philippines. So, now teacher will say goodbye and I will see you. I will just message you this afternoon for the second session, okay? Okay? okay. Yeah, okay. Bye, Nguyen. Thank you so much. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.